Hello and welcome back to the Broken Doll. This is this is my second time trying to do this here. All right, my chair wasn't up in the right position. I was sitting down so low. All right. So, anyways, I'm just just began uh, just at the beginning of sanding this doll. Now she's so full of bumps and bruises. That's what I call it. We're going to see how much this stuff covered. It looks like it covered pretty good, but we're just going to keep going and just see what it's done for her. Now, I could have started sanding this yesterday. Um, really, you only have to wait 24 hours to 48 hours, depending on how, like, again, how thick you lay this on. And, um, but it was really dried yesterday. So, you don't have to wait as long as what I did and wait it till Sunday. I only did it because um, it, um, I, I had other things to do. And I kind of knew it was going to take me till Sunday to get here. get another piece here. Always like a brand new piece of sanding paper. This is all I do is just sit and we sand and we're going to sand and we're going to sand. I put her on a towel because I can take this towel outside and shake it. One thing about this too, you want to make sure your nails are clipped. If you got long nails, and like this is one thing about it, your nails will, if you you um, are sanding, it can actually, and sometimes this is what I do, if, if you got the long nails, put on a glove, and your nails won't go into it, because this stuff is soft, and it will pick up any little ticks. I just felt my my um, nail, and my, I don't have long nails, I keep them clipped, but they go into this, this stuff is soft, and it will pick up your nails um, if you ha happen to hit. So if you got long nails, just put on a glove and away you go. Even just a winter glove will, will work, and you know. So. Just little um, ideas here. And you can sweep it off better too with a glove, just as well. This is where you want to put on the music and just you know, if you got some good music that you like to enjoy, you like to sing along to, just you, your do your doll's head, and you. No one there to judge you. <laughs> and you can just sing along and or listen to a book being read. See how it's turning out. Well, we're getting there. We are getting there. Yeah. It's filling in a lot of those beautiful areas. Um, now this here, um, I know it's showing through. We're going to give it another little going over again. I can tell. 
I always put take off, put back on. You're always leaving something behind, though, um, until you, you like it where it is. And um, you got to sand it smooth, and you're going to take off stuff. So I determine a lot of stuff as I go along. And what I say now, the story can change again because of situations that I find along the way. Um, I, I, I say this now. And then you're going to say, but you said, and I'm going to say, yeah, but I also said I might change <laughs> as I move along. And that's the thing. Um, sometimes I find that um, I need to do something different all of a sudden. Um, but right now, looking at it, I can see that I'm going to need just a little bit more on here. And that's okay. We just keep building it up. Because you got to remember, um, the first time when I did this, this, this was not there. This was not in here. This will not be here. So I'm building on top of this. So it's it's a layering effect that you're trying to get this roundness here, so that this doesn't th th this does not show when you paint. So it like I say, it it's a it's a process. You've got to go through to get there. And I I, I do a lot of doing a lot of talking right now about this here like just trying to figure out which way I'm going to go and um, like I say what I'm going to do now I might say no I'm going to change my mind and I think I'm going to do this now you know because different ideas pop into my head different scenarios will all of a sudden appear to me and I go mm, you know something I'm not going to do that I'm going to do this instead and that will happen to you as you're as you go through the, and do this here, you know, as you restore your doll. And especially when you're making a video, you say stuff, and then you go, well, I'm not going to do that, and I told you I was, you know. So um, just remember that, that the, the story can change, you know, as you're going through this. And that's how it, it goes with your dolls here. Like, it's just one of those things that what it is in the moment. You know, so I'm liking what I'm seeing, though. I really am. Um, she's turning out wonderful. Um, I'm not going to do too much more in this area because I think I'm going to like put another coat across, and that will do her wonderful. Yeah, she's looking great. You hit a lot of those nicks. You see what I'm saying when it comes to the curls of the hair here? You don't want to put this stuff on top because you're going to be digging out those curls. Especially as thick as what I put this on. I put this on on the thicker side because she had is a lot of issues here. And um, all this trying to keep it under on the camera yeah. you're always making decisions as you're going through this and the next minute you're going okay this is what I think I'll do next and then you go well I think I'm going to do this it's just always uh, different mindsets that you get you know like you're looking at her and so I want to make sure this is nice and smooth and it is now you might not think it is I think I could use a very thin thin layer going across here still this is a little bit indented but this is really getting nice and smooth across you're worried about what the paint's going to pick up and that's what i'm looking at what is the paint going to feel here and if the paint's going to pick up things on you're like oh, okay maybe i need to do this 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 you got a lot of ideas going through your head you know and I don't know who it was that told me about spackling. It was a young girl that got on here 
or an older lady, I don't know, it's just, I shouldn't even say what age, because I don't know, just a name appeared to never think of using spackling, and I just went, what is spackling? I never heard of it before. Um, so I asked my husband about it, he says, oh, we use that in, in houses, you know, we do this, this, and this with it. I went, oh, wow, can I use it on a doll? But then as my as I start learning more and more about dolls and the stuff that we're using that is maybe used for other things, and then we put it on our dolls to, to restore them, I started thinking, you know what? And I had one lady tell me, no, don't use spackling. Don't you dare use it. And I'm like, I want to investigate this. You know, um, I don't want to take always the person's word now at it. And I got looking at it more and more and more. And... I wanted, I used it on a doll just to see the effects of it. I was loving it, how it filled in little dents and everything on a doll. I was like, oh my goodness, this is wonderful stuff. And it smoothed out areas on my doll, it's spectacular. But will, would it crumble off, you know? Um, but as it dried, and I have the dolls this very day, these dolls are not being played with. And it's just a form of plaster. And it works wonderful. Um, on these old dolls. Now, I use it all the time now. And so you can see how much I listen. Um, I, you know, you got to experiment with these dolls. And um, sometimes you got to sacrifice some just to, to try things out. And I loved it. I, I love the effects I get from it. And um, I wasn't the first one to ever use spackling that was being used on dolls. Um, so... I say, if you don't like it, that's fine. I understand, you know, but, um, and I won't tell you what to use on your dolls uh, at all, you know. Um, I, I, but I can only suggest this is what I've been using, and I've had um, great results for it, for especially filling in those areas that are um, where we do nicks, or there's been nicks from play out of the doll and whatnot, you know, and just bumps and bruises the doll has taken a long life's journey, you know, but, um, yeah, um, I've had some great results from it, so that's my take on it, and we need something to help us with this here. I could milliput putt the whole back of this head here. That's a lot of milliput, putt, and it's a lot of heavy sanding. Milli putt is great for deep stuff, but I used to use milli putt on a whole doll, and I just went, oh my goodness, I got the sanding ahead of me, and I did it, but we need to discover other uses for other things, and, and, I, and I have, and this, this here might be used for other things, but I use it for my dolls, and I just, I have to admit, I love what I see. So, to each their, their own, it's your restoration, and you know what you want for your doll. Wow, this has really turned out nice. Um, I am pleasantly surprised by how nice this turned out. Wow, this turned out really, I am, I am really happy with her. Um, I'm going to give her a wipe down here. I like the microfiber rags and to wipe stuff off of her. So I can really see just where she stands now. Let's see. Well, you know what? She's done pretty good here. Still more sanding to be done on her here, of course. But, you know, just to get an overview of her right now, I think she looks wonderful. And um, we need some more in here. This, I think just a little bit in this area here. I think that will work out just wonderful for her. But we're coming. We're coming along quite nicely. And um, I think I like just to go over, like I, I will be going over her split in her head back here, but it's all mended. That split is mended now. It's not going anywhere. She's not going, that, that split won't go any further now. And um, she's looking great. That's all been mended up now. So I don't think I'm going to sand anymore because I, I can see I'm going to have to put more on. 
And because of that, why sand? <laughs> That's why I say. Just in some areas here. Wow, this looks really nice. I'm happy with her. Happy how well she's turned out. Wow, um, I'm, I'm really content. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to take her, we're going to go in the hot areas of her, and we're going to do some more um, spackling on her. So what we're going to do is wipe her down, give her another wipe down here. But this time, I think when I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the back of her neck right in here. Just give it some uh, uh, a go here. And just maybe underneath the curl bed here, just underneath in here. I don't know if I want to go in here because this is something, if I do, it's going to be very, very thin. Okay, so let's just go in our troubled area first here. Let's just go right up in here. Oh, look at there, we got something going on there. So let's just get up in there. Okay, let's get this done. Yeah, we just want to get right up in here again. Do it again. I saw a crack in there. It just got done saying there was no cracks. Yeah, things change. You're like, darn. Little little crack right right inside this thing. So we're gonna to try to fill that in with some spackling. Now I want to come over in here and just get this filled up right in here. I'm just gonna go over it one more time, but very thin this time. Really thin. I want to do this a thin. Yeah, there we go. That's thin. Because we can see right through that. This is a little bit thicker here. So we're going to go a little bit thicker. It's going to take a little bit longer to dry, but that's okay. The rest of this is looking pretty good here. I'm really happy with this. Oh, the rest of this. Let's go down in here, fill some of this, because you can just really feel how gritty it is. It, the paint's going to pick up on that. So we're just going to go really thin. Right up in here. We're going to go right along in here. Let's just go right along in there, too. And if we go across here, we're just going to go really thin so that I don't have to dig that out. Just fill in some of that gritty area. See how gritty it is? You can see it with right... I'm going to try to keep it dug out too. The little fat rolls on the neck. See those little fat rolls? That's what I'm trying to keep. Don't want to get it into that hairline this here just to fill this in a little bit. We'll just keep filling that in until we get it nice and smooth. There we go. Just enough just to... Okay, we don't want to go any further on that there. Okay, so we got this looking good. All right. So there we are. Okay. We're going to let this dry again. This is a little bit of a troubled area, right? This is, and the crack is giving me, a, this, where her head was cracked, is giving me some problems. It is. I saw a crack right in there. But we're going to go at it again. We're going to keep going at it till we get, get it filled up again. If I have to put Millie Putt back on top of that one little area, that I will do. But hey, we don't know until we do this here. And um, let's go a little bit right up.